Damn it, Brendan Fraser, your performance is too good for this movie. The Whale is the newest film from director Darren Aronofsky and it stars Brendan Fraser, Sadie Sink, and Hong Chow. It tells the story of a reclusive English teacher who is attempting to reconnect with his estranged teenage daughter. Now like many of you, this movie wasn't really on my radar until it started appearing at a couple festivals. And the general consensus coming out of all the festivals was that this movie was something special and Brendan Fraser's performance is outstanding and I was all on board for that. So I finally got to check it out and I have to say that this is a movie that for the first half of it, I was really on board. But the second half of it, it totally lost me. This is a movie that was so frustrating for me. But before I get more into my in-depth thoughts on this movie, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the rest of this video, and comment down below what are your thoughts or expectations for The Whale. But let's keep talking about it. I have to mention that this is a movie that is emotionally draining. At times, just feels like a wave is continuously crashing over you. You feel like you're standing in the middle of the ocean, and waves are just coming at you left and right, and you're just being swallowed underneath them because this movie just packs such an emotional punch in a lot of key scenes. It truly is a devastating movie because you're watching a guy basically killing himself by just eating himself to death. It's a fascinating character study about what loss can do to a person and how it can affect them and their further trajectory in their life. Without getting into spoilers, Brendan Fraser has had a really tough past and he hasn't been able to fully overcome all of that and that's how he has gotten into the position that he is in. And over the course of the movie, you just see him continue to go further and further down this hole that he has been trapped in for so long now and it is devastating. There is no sugarcoating the fact that this movie is going to take a lot out of you and if you're not into movies like that, this is probably not going to be the movie for you. Like I mentioned, the, my experience with watching this movie, it totally took a lot out of me. And I think on that hand it's good and you cannot talk about the will without talking about the performances across the board. I know I'm not the first person to say this, I would give Brendan Fraser the Oscar right now. The lengths that Brendan Fraser goes into this movie, I cannot imagine the toll that it took on him because he is Charlie, our main character. He totally sinks into the role. I did not see Brendan himself and this is a performance that requires a lot from its actor who is portraying the character. You feel such sympathy for Charlie and the journey that he has gone on throughout his life. In the scenes where you're hearing about his past and what he has been through, it, it's just going to break your heart into two like it did mine. Now Fraser is amazing, but also Hong Chow and Sadie Sink. I don't want them to go overshadowed. They might because of how good Fraser is. Overshadowed, especially in terms of Academy Award recognition. Chow plays Charlie's nurse in this movie, and she really is just trying to save him throughout the entire movie. And you can't help but just feel for her character and the position that her character is in. A character that is pretty unlikable though is Sadie Sink's Ellie who plays Charlie's daughter. She's a character that definitely got on my nerves and I'm not the biggest fan of how they wrote her character. And I'll get more into that in a second but the first half of this movie, and I preface with the first half of this movie, it really is handled with a lot of delicacy. What Aronofsky does in the director's chair is nothing all too special. This is a one location movie just focusing in on Brendan Fraser's performance and what he can do as Charlie. And I definitely think that was a wise directorial choice because this is a character study in a character study alone. I think with this movie feeling so delicate and so thoughtful and not trying to be too much in the first half of it is really why I fell for it and why I appreciated it so much. That is about where my positives end with this movie because this movie had me so frustrated by the end of it. Like ruining your mood frustrated because it could have been something so special if it had just continued with being a delicate character study instead of turning into an emotionally manipulative mess. I would say this movie starts to turn into that territory when Samantha Morton's character gets introduced. She plays Charlie's ex-wife and Ellie's mom. And from there, this movie just got under my skin with its writing choices, making these characters so evil. The characters got to the point where they were cynical and I just beats you over the head with its messaging without getting into spoilers. Everything was just so overwrought and overdone to the point where it just gets to be just kind of silly. Charlie just takes hit after hit after hit and you get to the point where I'm just completely taken out of the movie because I'm just so frustrated with all these choices. Could have very easily kept some of these choices in to an extent and then started to do a little bit of a turnaround. I think if it went in that direction, it would have really narrowed home the messaging that it was going for. And don't even get me started about the last five minutes of this movie because they are downright absurd. The final shot of this movie 
but had me shaking my head. Now I mentioned how the first half of this movie was handled with delicacy. They totally threw that out the window and just went all out for it in the latter half of the movie. And that's where all of it just started to quickly roll downhill for me into kind of a fire. The Whale has so many things about it that work, and but so many things about it that don't work and just had me frustrated with the writing choices. Fraser's performance is damn near a once in a lifetime performance. It's a performance that is so rare to see nowadays, I feel. It just borders that line of going into too much. I think he balanced the tightrope between being too much and just enough pretty well. But I really just don't know what happened in the latter half of this movie. Why did it decide to go just all out for it and really hammer home its messaging instead of continuing with delicacy? A very aggravating watch and one that is just disappointing. I'm gonna give The Whale a C. But those are just my thoughts on The Whale. If you have seen this movie, I want you to let me know down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on it. And let me know if you're also excited for it down below, but also give this video a like and consider hitting that subscribe button plus that notification bell so you don't miss any further videos. And as always, look forward to more videos coming soon. My name is Ben, people call me Meter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.